It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened, this scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Yeah, nice to see you too. Looks nourishing. Here you go, what's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. I can't believe it's all still here.
guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. <sighs> Missed my window. Now it's overexposed. Too soon. It needs to stay in longer. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. clip. Pull yourself together, Marianne. Interesting. Jack's room. It's like he never... I used to think I'd never fit in, but Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them to ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork.
Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay, let's do this the other way. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Jack's in the prep room. Here it is. Not sure if I'm ready for this. Hey, Jack. I got your special clip. Where's your tie? Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. Am I?
Oh, can't you people read? The signs that's closed. You felt it too, huh? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, where is that star notebook? I'm gonna be late! I need to find that. Marianne? Mary Hannah, are you, are you crying, my child? I... It's fine, Jack. Now, now you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Where is that thing? Listen, Jack. Should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh no, no! no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just what? let it go. Uh, it's not important. You, you are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Where is that shh, 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 notebook? Shh, shh. Huh? It's okay, Jack. Yeah. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. It's time to get some rest. Oh, Marianne. Yeah? Oh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once uh, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> no risky stuff, then. Right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I need no. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. 
torn between two realities. But no, I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... I... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh -huh. <laughs> listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh... there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit. And off I went, on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place.
Anyone home? I guess not. Front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. You want to keep me out, Neva? You're gonna have to do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just... stopped. And so, an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. What's this? be my way in. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Dead. Like everything else in this place. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world. In any 
case. I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Oh, so that worked. Good for you, Marianne. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. So there I was, existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. Hope you don't mind if I, uh, pop your trunk? Not much here. Although, this could... Ow! Shit! What the hell? So began the great dumpster heist of 1999. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it.
It's true. The Neva Massacre. I need to find this Thomas guy and get the hell out of here. Hello? Anyone? Thomas? You there? Hello? Thomas? Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old-fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. Pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends? Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Uh, but, but they're all gone now. Did something happen to them? Mm, uh, I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going. All the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So... Tell me. What happened? Uh, I, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a, a few of them stayed. But they became very sad, very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen... Marianne? <gasps> yes. Uh, would you play with me just for a little while? It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! <gasps> Anything, Marianne! I'm looking for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, so Take your time. Uh, oh, yeah. The second floor. We can look there. Come on. Hurry, oh, Wait. Marianne. I can't go that way. Damn. I need to get. 
get up there somehow. Hey, an elevator. Might as well see if it works. Sadness. I wished I knew her real name. box. Need some energy to spark it up. An out-of-body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Okay, Marianne. Now get your ghostly ass back and power up that elevator. she go? Huh. What is that? <gasps> Okay, not getting through here. Fuck! Holy shit. I didn't even know I could do that. Yes. I'm working on it. Yes, I know. I just... Yes. 
I understand. Just give me some time. A few days. You'll get what you want. Ugh. That voice. I don't know why, but it gives me shivers. Looks like the only way. Great. This room, it feels cold. Memories of grief, loneliness. Uh, the spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze in the right spot and let it pour out. Ah, sunflower weary of time. For my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. Ah, sunflower weird. Oh, miss. An old prescription. I know these drugs all too well. Shit, there are thousands of them. I'm gonna need more energy to get through.
Yeah, that was disturbingly satisfying. This could be useful. The light of a memory strong enough to defy this place. You want me to read you another one, darling? Oh, look at this mess! Don't worry, I'll clean you up in no time. I'm here for you, my love. This man, Tarkovsky, he ended up as her patient? You, <laughs> I know you're there. Wish I had the strength to cut you out. <laughs> you don't deserve to exist. You're nothing. <laughs> but I was too afraid that a part of me would go on, trapped on the other side, forever.
manager, huh? Marianne! Oh, sadness. We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, sad. This place is huge. It's easy to get lost. Just, just stick with me. Okay. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> this Thomas Rekovich. What? All right. Listen, hon. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? I... Uh, I guess... You think he stuck around? I, I'm not sure. There was an old man here. Very recently. I think. Oh. And you think it was Thomas? Oh, I don't know. Old men all look the same, all wrinkly and old. Blah. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's still around, I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! Uh, I feel... Oh, uh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one... here. Sadness? It all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish. Fear. Longing. What the hell happened here? It still works. Someone's been using it. Too small to fit a door. Hmm. My senses jolted as I touched the phone. I could tell it had been used recently, to call me. Burn marks? Broken glass and... Is that salt? Someone jotted this down recently. Grand opening, I assume. Hey, is that the first secretary? They must have had some big plans for this place. I could instantly tell there was more to that clock than met the eye. There we go. That's as far as it goes. Imprint. Is that... Thomas? As I moved the clock hand, I realized it was a junction between realities. It's rare, but I'd seen it before. No. Don't do it. I can't. We... must. Something's wrong. It's coming. There! Looks like a passage. Shit. He thought I had it this time. It's taking too long. What am I missing? Looks like I'm in for another dive. 
Someone tried real hard to keep this place a secret. Wonder what's in here on the other side. Stuck in there. Let's see if it worked. Never get used to this. Nope. Doesn't work. Ugh. I hate to think what kind of photos need this much secrecy. Okay. I know how this works. I need three liquids to develop the photo. There's a train missing. That's one. Two more to go. Suppressing, huh? Not sure I like the sound of that.
I could sense something stirring behind that symbol, like a gust of wind moving a curtain. Hope he's not using it as a textbook. Okay, that's all of them. This should come in handy. Who's there? Are you all right? Not a fan of light, huh? Fucking figures.
to meet you. <laughs> Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This ravenous. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? 
And what did he want from me? Marianne! Wake up, please! Marianne! <gasps> I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. It wouldn't have solved anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. Is someone there? Mary and Happy. You're okay. Sadness? Is that you? Are you okay? What was that thing? Hello? Fine! Richard! Richard? No, Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room? Are you trying to show me the way? What now? First Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least sadness was still with me, in a way. Is that? Oh God, it's everywhere. How many people died here? Let me be frank. This case is problematic. My superiors wanted to go away. I wanted to go away. You can see how your statement complicates that? Comrade? I... Yes, I understand. Some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo. Thank you. 
Cover your nose. Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ugh. Definitely didn't need to feel that. Locked. Hey, Marianne. You look like shit. Are those bolt cutters? Might be useful. If only I could reach them. wouldn't do that. He's nice. Ugh, she's talking to herself again. What a freak. Hey, don't talk about her like that. Good. Shut the heck up, Bernard. Guys! Oh, kids can be such assholes sometimes. <sighs> what is it? You want to show me something? What the hell? 
Snowdrop, huh? Why does that sound familiar? Oh. As I got closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. I can feel it calling out to me. It was the first time that it ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Uh, what? What the hell is this place? What's happening? No! No, please, Mommy! Oh, God. What happened to you? Wait. I know you. You were that boy. Bernard, was it? He was trapped there, just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. All these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart, broken beyond repair. Maybe I can find the one Bernard's missing. I need to look around. Hey, that's where those bolt cutters are. So close, and yet so in a different reality. Spirit well. I could use some of that energy. That cat figurine was the key. I can't pass through without it. Ah, get off! Shit, this was yours. Wasn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. I'm sorry you had to go through all this. It's time for you to find peace. Bernard. Thank you. Huh. It kind of looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels like it, too. Stay with me! Stay! What? No! 
No! between worlds. There was no escaping it. Great. Another mirror. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you, comrade. Locked. There we go. getting close. 
That woman was here. Oh. She was a ballerina? Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Okay, last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. This room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Huh. The page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. But which one is it? I still don't know her real name. Just words. Sounds without meaning. Partial numbers. There. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Yes, this is Vivian. Room 347, I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... what? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So... If you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori. It's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be.
This is where it happened. Uh, of all the places. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. There was a man here. What? Well... Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria. That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. I'm not gonna lie, it felt good, putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One down, one to go. Better get to it.
What are you? Stop! Ah! Ah! This is it. This is where he died. Okay, I still need his name. If only I could see the other side of this place. Huh. Some sort of a conference room. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say, if you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice... That's the guy. An attendance list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. Boris. That's the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. No, that's not it. Not that one either. Okay. So this is Boris's seat. So the one I'm looking for is... This is it. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. That's it. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here.